I'm going to do a video for you guys. It's a muggy day in Florida. Or at the front of the unit. I'm going to go inside first and then I'll come back out again. But let's go take a look at this. You got your carport. You got your one of your shutters. Robert's big truck park here. You got the little tool garage, stacked with stuff. I'm looking in here to see what Robert says about it. You know, definitely could use a paint job or something on the top. You can see some a little bit of wet spot there. the tool room. Let's go in the house. You guys remember we're entering in the laundry room. The laundry room is your electrical box. You got some cabinets. The cabinets are in okay shape. I'm, you know, now that I look at them a second time, you know, they're not the most expensive cabinets and somebody's, you know, painted them, which they could really use a better paint job, to be honest. But, um, washroom dryer are in good shape. You have the built-ins in here too. Kind of forgot about that. Built-ins. I don't know, they kind of like need some. They need to be, they need to be, need a little project, need a little paint on these cabinets um, but you have a lot of space here this room i think i measured it's nine feet long by seven eight wide seven feet eight inches wide i did a measurement for the whole property and i'll i'll do a floor plan we come into the main room it's nice and big there's our built-ins a little space on either side of the built-in for the potted plants dining room I guess this is the chandelier they're taking the chandelier this is the one they're talking about it's very inexpensive you can buy a $20 chandelier to replace it but you got a big table there and you got a built-in desk area here too kind of forgot about that and then your pantry on an angle size and put them on a space in there again the cabinets you know on the second look they're 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 in good shape they're not special cabinets they're not weight shaker and you know you don't have to do anything with them but you know if you decided you wanted to give them a second paint job you know they're fine they're fine Nice subway tile backsplash. You get the refrig refrigerator, refrigerator. You get your island. Got a little space here for a bookcase. <clears throat> your double window outside. And then, of course, your microwave is over there. It's not built in. Because you have the vent fan system here. It looks like it's vented out. And this stove looks newer. The toaster. Your pendant lights. More storage underneath here. And again, there's your built in desk area. Your bookcase and your nice open area. You just got a lot of space to put furniture, so they have that that set into two chairs. And then I measured all this out here. I'll send that to you. Uh, I think I had 18 feet long by like 13 three, if I remember correctly. 
this whole wall is like 13 3 to 18 foot total space in here the fireplace is a little dinky thing I don't even know if you would replace this thing this whole piece comes out this whole piece comes out but you, it's just a little fireplace piece it can't be that expensive um, but I measured this opening because you have it to the top of the shelf I think it could fit like a I think it could fit a 50 five in here. I get I'll, I'll send you the measurements. <clears throat> you get some high hats, spotlights. And then you get your trip your four windows. And the door outside. And then we have this closet here too. They're not very deep but enough to put the back and some stuff. So Go with the popcorn ceiling. Looks like there was a repair made. I'm gonna ask Robert about this at one time in the ceiling there. Let's go into the guest bedrooms. You get your guest bath. You know, you just have the inserted shower system it's not tiled it's just an inserted shower system <clears throat> a little plastic insert the vinyls brought all the way into the bathroom you get your vanity and we'll turn around we get a little piece here at the hallway and then into that room with, with the music room I think I measured this room as 12 feet by 12 six, but again, I got the measurements. And then you have the closet, which is, doesn't have any shelving, it's just stuff piled up in here, but it's deep. New window. A little bit of an angle on that wall. And you go into this, this is two foot two six, uh, two feet, six inch openings for the doors. This room is bigger, I measured it out. You get two windows, obviously. A lot of space in here for bureaus. I think that's a queen size bed. And then we'll walk back out. Just more storage. Empty. Go into the master. Master bedroom. Three windows. I also measured this out too. Oh, I gotta measure the closet. That's what I forgot to do. I know the closet's big. I'll measure that out. And then the master, it's like nine feet deep in here with the double vanities. So you have just a, a Korean countertop. Again, the cabinets have just been painted. They're just a regular wood. They're not, you know, an updated cabinet. They're just a painted wood doors. You have your vanities, I'm sure these are open, which is nice to the open. Oh, I guess they don't open. They look like they should open. Oh, they do open. There you go. They do open. Oh, somebody got a lot of medicine. Triple fixtures. And then your shower is small. Shower is only like a three foot. Three foot shower. This shower is smaller than the one in the guest bedroom. I think it's three by three six or something like that. Or two six. And then your toilets over here. And then you had this extra closet space. And then this closet. Which has stuff piled up. <laughs> okay. You got a mirror here on this wall. That's your master bath. And then you remember. 
closet scooge which is nice at least they have the shelving here so you get space okay let's go outside Patio. Remember, he said he flipped the house, so the front of the house is in the back. So, this would have been your front porch sitting, which is in the back porch sitting, which isn't bad. You got some space here, aluminum ceiling, planter, the stairs, down to the pool area. Your dipping pool. A little shelf here at the front of the. Put some cocktails and whatnot. And then you do have a little bit of space here with these pavers. And just put some stuff here. There's a fridge, the other door to the shed. I don't know if you would do anything out here with this area or not. There's not a ton of space. I guess you could build it up. Then you walk down to the patio. You get your barbecue down here. You know, because this is two tone, you got the tile and then the dock again. It doesn't look as big as it really is. There's a lot of space down here. But because it's two different types of flooring, it's deceiving. It makes it look smaller. But it's actually a pretty good amount of space it's just down on the dock because the dock is out. There's your neighbor. He's got his pontoon. This space here, you know, I guess if you wanted to, you could build this up, you know, put a little wall here and build this up and maybe put a an outside um, fire pit, like they did over the other house. This is probably be the space where you do it. Or you could dig it out like they did there and just come across with more deck space and put the fire pit down here. A couple options. And just get your red dock that <laughs> you probably painted. But the pine links look like they're in good shape. And I looked over at the seawall it looks like it's in good shape. Here's a picture of the seawall. You know, underneath you can see it's the water's getting at it, but it's hard to see from here. Let's walk around the side of the house. Cool heaters here. No, it's definitely older. The air conditioning system is very old. We can't even get a date off it. It's ancient. So Robert's going to see what he can do about that. But it's 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 definitely got to be close to its useful life. It's, I mean, I know it's I know it's done. You know, it's time. This is uh, the side where you're talking about putting a carport garage area you know, I measured off 17 feet from the front of the house we got to actually do the measurements but I think you could come back a good I think you could come back a good 
I'm guessing 17 feet if you needed to with the size of a garage or carport. 16, 17 feet anyway on this side of the house. But we can definitely get at least three cars in the driveway without a problem. Okay, there we go.